Are you still copy pasting reports downloaded from Salesforce into Microsoft Excel? In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to import data from Salesforce into Microsoft Excel using the Excel Connector 365. What's up party people, I'm Dave. I go by Piggy Bank Accountant, hence the hat and I'm a CPA and without further ado, let's dive deep into it. The tool that we're gonna use is actually named XL Connector 365. It is completely free for the first month, but then you need to pay a little fee. It's not really expensive and it's gonna save you a lot of time. So I think it is worth to pay for it. As you can see, it's supported for both Excel for Mac and Excel for Windows, and it's really easy to set up. First, all you have to do is click on the Get the Excel Connector 365, you download the app and it's gonna add a little tab in your Excel as we see right here. All you have to do is click on the Excel Connector 365. It's gonna open a pane to your right straight in your Excel. You then have to log in with your company email so the Excel Connector makes a link with the API from Salesforce. Once you're connected, you have multiple options as you can see here, so such as pull data, refresh data, delete or create or modify or run the flows. The goal here is to create some flow. So just to create an, a series of action that the Excel connector will do. Today, we're gonna go over the pull data. I'm gonna show you how to import a report from Salesforce into Microsoft Excel. You have to click on pull data and then click on report and then select from all the reports you have made into Salesforce. It is really simple. All you have to do is click run and save, and then your report will appear in your Microsoft Excel tab. Another thing that is really cool is that if you do some forecast and need some kind of updates, you can just go into the option that is refresh data and you don't need to copy paste anything. You just click on refresh data. If you only have one report, you have to click on current worksheet. And if you have multiple, you just click on all worksheet your reports will automatically get refreshed and then you can update your pivot tables that you made the report from. This tool is really useful for a few reasons. You won't need to update stuff manually anymore so you save time here and also you don't need to copy paste and you don't risk making any mistake because it tags straight into Salesforce. So you can do some forecasts or other, any kind of analysis based on your Salesforce number that are actually always up to date. Once you're done importing your data from Salesforce, you might want to do some pivot table from your data. And I made a video for you on how to do really great pivot table, including multiple hacks, and it's right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want more tips, just go right now in this video.